Assalamu alaikum, hello, and good evening, everyone. I'm your host, Shamza Rehman from FES, and I'm back with another live session for you guys, as promised. I always keep my promises. Today, we are going to talk about, for the first time, about one of the finest university of Turkey, which is Yashur University, which is located in the beautiful land of Izmir in Turkey. So I'm here live with Ms. Sevjan, the international education officer. How are you, ma'am? I'm fine, Hamza. How are you? It's really nice to see you today. Thank you, ma'am. Same here. I would like to introduce yourself, please, and let us know about you and your university. Of course. Uh, I'm Sevcan Gizem Özülker. Uh, I'm working in Yashar University. Uh, you know, this, uh, our university is in Izmir in Turkey. Izmir is the third biggest city in Turkey and it's one of the best places to live actually. Uh, I will show you the photos and if you also uh, google it or uh, you can look uh, about the videos in YouTube and you can see how beautiful Izmir is. So uh, if you are planning to study in a foreign country, uh, Yashar University and Izmir will be your perfect choice and I will explain the details details uh, in a minute uh, with our with my presentation so it's a very beautiful day and it's a uh, very it's very beautiful to meet you here uh, okay. i have so many pakistani students and i love them so much and i just explained hamza that i've been to pakistan uh, two years ago and i stayed there for 10 days i've been to lahore islamabad and karachi and uh, it's, it was a fantastic experience i love the people so also uh, I have really good relations uh, with my Pakistani agents, with my Pakistani friends. So I hope you all come and we can meet. Yeah, definitely, most definitely. So let me start. Is it okay? Let, can, can I share the screen and I can yeah. start explaining with my presentation? Let me yeah. share my screen with you, Hamza. Sure. So guys, whoever hum is watching us, whoever uh, who are listening us, we are all the people who are watching us, who are listening to us, who are listening to us, who are listening to us, because I have messages on WhatsApp and my personal messages that you have a little bit. So please uh, do write your questions. So once we are done with the presentation, I'll go with the comment section and ask and address every question from every student to Ma'am Sevjan. Yes, when I finish my presentation, you can ask your questions and also I will give you my email address as well. Yes. And if you want to ask me questions, you can always email me. Um, you can see that um, Yashar University and yes. our motto is science, unity and success. Um, we are in Izmir. You can see, maybe most of you heard about Istanbul. Istanbul is right here. Ankara is the capital of Turkey, and it's right here. Um, we are in, we are near the agency. You can see from the map. And most of the time, the weather is so good in Izmir, and it's a summer place, actually. We have very beautiful beaches. We have very beautiful touristic places. So uh, you'll be happy to see them as well. Um, like I told you, we have the Izmir is the third uh, most uh, popular. Tur Tur Turkey's third most populous city, Izmir, and it's uh, 4.3 million. Um, also, uh, it's a global city as well. And let me just show you some photos. Um, this is uh, Bozdaiz about Turkey, and it's on the. So we you can also see the snow. You can also go to beaches. Uh, this is Altin Yunus Hotel. It's also under the uh, Yashar Holding Company. Also Yashar, oh, I will explain now, Yashar, Izmir, uh, in Yashar Holding, they have several branches. Uh, 
and yeah, Altın Yunus Hotel is one of them. Um, it's like heaven, you know. This is Çeşme. It's just 40 minutes uh, far away from Izmir. This is Poça. It's also uh, one hour away from Izmir. And this is Clock Tower. It's in the mid. It's in the city center. This is Ephesus. Maybe you know about Ephesus. It's in Izmir. Uh, these are some photos also, some photos of the touristic places in Izmir. Nice. Also, this is a photo of Izmir. It's a very safe and affordable city with a low cost of living uh, because in is Istanbul, maybe you heard about Istanbul. It's Istanbul is also a very beautiful city, but uh, it's a little expensive than Izmir and uh, its population is higher than Izmir. So maybe it's a little hard for a student to live in Istanbul because Izmir is much more safer and much more affordable. And it's just 45 minutes uh, uh, flight away. You know, it's not far away for weekends. You can also take up a uh, plane ticket and you can fly to uh, Istanbul just for 45 minutes and you can uh, be in Istanbul. Don't worry about it. You can visit Istanbul as well. Um, uh, we have also in Izmir, also in our university, a range of cultural, sports and recreation events. Uh, you can see them as well. We have an international fair uh, every year it's happening. Um, also, uh, I told you before, uh, these are some of the main events and main companies in Izmir. So after maybe you graduate uh, you can have a chance to find a job uh, in these big companies uh, maybe you can do an internship uh, because it's a uh, Izmir is also a commercial center so you can have a chance to find a job after you graduate as well um, this is a photo of Yashar University you can see it this is our main building and right here uh, Hamza, can you hear me? Is everything fine? Yeah, I can hear you. It's perfectly fine. Okay. If you can hear me, that's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm continuing. I'm very, very sorry. Excuse me. It's a storm over here. So oh. Just, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Don't worry about it. If you can hear me, if students can hear me, that's yeah. fine. This is a, uh, perfect. This is a photo of our main campus. And we are also in the city center in Bornova. And Bornova uh, is a place of students. So there are many cafes and restaurants. And also you can see the metro station. Metro station is just in front of the university. So uh, the transportation is really easy and fast in Izmir. And the metro station is just in the middle of the Yashar University. Yes, in the middle of the Yashar University, in front of the Yashar University. So the transportation is also really easy. Um, as I told you before, uh, we are belong to Yashar Holding family. Yashar University is belong to Yashar Holding family. And in this family, we have food and beverage group. We have trade and service group. We have paint group. We have tissue paper group. And we have agriculture, livestock and fisheries group. So what does it mean? So we are uh, uh, in the Yashar Holding family. So uh, if when you graduate, if your grades are high and if you have been a great student, then you can have a chance to find a job uh, in these companies. Uh, the Yashar University, the year of foundation is 2001. Uh, right now we have 10,509 students. Uh, we have many. Uh, educational programs and I will explain you them as well. Also, you can uh, check our programs through our website as well. Uh, we have a uh, degree programs, a bachelor degree programs, master's degree programs and PhD degree programs. Um, we have CEA accreditation in 2011. We have Erasmus Success Story Award in 2012. Um, so uh, I will also explain you about the Erasmus and exchange programs as well. So when you come to Yashar University for one semester or for two semesters, you can have a chance to study abroad. 
and the total number of partners is 556. You can also see the photo. Uh, this is a photo of our campus. We have library, uh, we have sports centers, uh, and they are open 724. So you can use the sports center and all of the facilities uh, in all day long. And also we have dormitories just near the university. Uh, the English medium education in Yashar University, it's really important because our uh, education language is English. So when you graduate, you will have a diploma, you will have a universally accepted diploma. That's why uh, our uh, education language is English. And we have CEA accreditation, as I told you before, and we have that award in 2011. And Yashar University is the first university in Turkey which receives CEA accreditation. Um, and we have also, yes, we have Turkish and international academic staff, and Turkish academic staff can also teach English, uh, teach in English. Uh, we have scholarships. I will explain you this as well. Don't worry about it. Uh, we offer scholarships. And when you come there, um, if you cannot pass the flat exam or if you don't have TOEFL or uh, the other uh, English uh, in, uh, cert uh, certificates, exam certificates, then you need to uh, have uh, one year of preparation, English year, and so you can reach the language level for uh, faculty because the, as I told you, uh, the language, uh, the education language is in English and second language options and Turkish support classes also we have. You can choose second languages, Spanish, German, and also Turkish. You can learn Turkish as well. And I, uh, according to me, learning Turkish is really important because when you graduate, maybe you can stay here and work. And so then you will need Turkish. Uh, Yashar University has a student-centered approach uh, where students are really important for us and uh, as an international office we are always in contact with our students and we are trying to help them uh, in every way that we can. Um, as I told you before, uh, we have also uh, awarded on Erasmus work and integration of EU funded projects in 2011 as well. Uh, we have ECTS credits. What does it mean? As I told you before, when you graduate, you will have an international global diploma. And in that diploma, your grades will be in ECTS credit system. So uh, it's like uh, Europe, it's, it means European credit transfer system. So uh, the courses in Yasha University also uh, will be in ECTS system. So that means uh, in your diploma, when you graduate, for example, uh, when you graduate from Yasha University and you want to do your master or PhD in another country in Europe, uh, you won't have any problem. Um, we are also a member of EUA, UK NERIC and NAFSA. Uh, we are going uh, for fairs uh, and then uh, we have many international students from 62 countries and that's why we are always going to going abroad for fairs and uh, we are explaining how to apply and how does it feel like to live in Izmir study in Yashar University. Ah, that's a great photo. I love this photo. Um, this In this photo, uh, you can see our, some of our international students. Every year we are doing uh, International Cultures Day. And so it's also very nice uh, day for us. We have students um, from 62 different countries. You can also see some of them in our photo. And if you look carefully, you can see our Pakistani students as well. Let me look. Uh, Mohammed Farooq is uh, from Pakistan. And also they also sometimes wear their traditional clothes and cook traditional foods for us. Nice. Um, uh, we have students from these countries. You can see the uh, names of the countries. And exchange program. It's very important. 
we have exchange program and we have a Erasmus program. As I told you before, you can have a chance to study in one semester or two semesters uh, in other countries. And the Global Partners Exchange Program is offered students to study or two semester at a number of high ranking institutions. And Yesha University has 32 uh, partnership agreements uh, and 19 partnership agreements in process. Uh, students have uh, many study abroad opportunities. For example, uh, they can uh, study in USA, Australia, Canada, China, Republic of Korea, UK, Argentina, Pakistan, France, Azerbaijan, and Japan. Uh, they can choose the university where they want to study. And for one or two semesters, uh, they can use this opportunity. Um, these are our global partners. Also, you can uh, see them in our website. Uh, what's our website? It's Yashar University, apply.yashar.edu.tr. You can also see our uh, global partners and read their names uh, through our website. We have also partners uh, in Pakistan. We have many exchange students uh, who are coming from Pakistan uh, from this, uh, from these universities. You can read them in a detailed way through our website. So that's why I'm going through. Uh, we have another exchange program that's called ISEP. Uh, it's an international student. It's a kind. It's another kind of international student exchange program. Uh, ISEP is a non-profit membership organization providing affordable study abroad and exchange options. Uh, the, this unique program is active only in two universities in Turkey, and one of them is Yashar University. Um, we have uh, partnership agreements uh, with 270 universities in, 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 in the United States of America. And also we have uh, other 50 countries. Uh, you can see their names, China, Hong Kong, South Korea, and the other ones. Uh, you can also choose one of the universities in these countries and uh, you can study uh, in them uh, for one or two semesters. Uh, so it's another uh, beautiful chance to study in Yashar University. Another program is Erasmus program. I think most of you heard about this. Uh, it's, um, it's also like an exchange program, but it's just uh, it happens through uh, Europe. Uh, so um, it's, uh, it's our it's also developing new relations with European universities. And you, if you want to study or if you want to live in Europe for one or two semesters, it's a great opportunity for you. Um, it's a European Union founded program for students and also for staff mobility. You can also, we have uh, 218 Erasmus agreements with European universities from 27 countries. Uh, you can see the country names below. Uh, United Kingdom, Belgium, Italy, Norway, Sweden, Germany. So it's a nice opportunity as well. Um, these are our Erasmus agreements and you can see the university names. You just need to look through this. You just need to decide about the university and the city you want to live in. So the others we will help you. This is our Erasmus mobility numbers two years. And we have, uh, now I will explain you about the academic divisions. Um, we have vocational education, vocational schools. Uh, you can see that we have alternative energy resources, technology, architectural restoration, banking, insurance, computer programming, foreign trade, food technology, graphic design, logistic, marina management, maritime and port management program, public relations, tourism and hotel management. Uh, also, maritime and port management program is very important because Izmir is a port city. So when maybe, maybe when you graduate, you can have a chance to find a job in one of the uh, port management companies. 
Um, let me tell you, uh, let's start with our bachelor degree education. Uh, we have faculty of business, we have faculty of engineering, uh, we have business administration, economics, international trade and finance, interna international logistic management, computer engineering, industrial software, electrical and electronic engineering, engineering, energy system engineering and civil engineering programs as a bachelor degree programs. Uh, we have a uh, faculty of economics and administrative sciences. You can study tourism guidance, visual communication, public relations, radio, television, new media and journalism. Uh, you can study architecture or interior architecture and environmental design. We have a uh, faculty of human and social sciences. You can have BA in psychology, uh, English language and literature, translation and interpretation, international relations or, uh, and also sociology. Um, we have faculty of art and design. We have BA in graphic design, industrial design, film design, music and animation. We have faculty of law, but um, I need to tell you that faculty of law is 70% Turkish, 30% in English because they're also te teaching Turkish law. Uh, so that's why it's a little hard for foreign students to attend, but um, maybe some people who are living in living in abroad but if they know Turkish they can also apply for a law program uh, School of Applied Sciences we have management information systems gastronomy and culinary arts um, let's come to our postgraduate education in Yashar University we have graduate school of social sciences and we have graduate school of natural and applied sciences um, these are the master degree programs and uh, you can see them. Uh, we have uh, so much master and PhD program. You can look, uh, you can also uh, open our web page and also you can see the course contents uh, about these programs. You can see the courses and all of the other details if you check our website. Um, we have master in business administration, international relation, economics, and you can also see the all details through our website. Uh, we have also uh, uh, other uh, other master degree programs as well. We have master in architecture. We have master in interior architecture, computer engineering, electrical electrical and electronic engineering, and we have many students from Pakistan who are coming to study engineering program. Uh, we have uh, energy management, business engineering, meta mathematics. Um, but um, the PhD in mathematics, I see now it's in the slide, but uh, I think for now they are not opening PhD in mathematics. I need to tell you this. Um, we have a PhD in computer engineering, industrial engineering, and electrical and electronics engineering. Um, you can see the dormitory. This is our Yashar University dormitory. It's just located within five minutes walk away from the university campus. Uh, it accommodates 400 students. We have many Pakistani students who are also um, living in our dormitory. Uh, we have single, twin and triple bed options. Uh, also, you can see the details and all of the uh, rooms, the photos of the rooms and all photos of the uh, other facilities also in our website. We have media center in our university uh, and it uh, holds the title of being the first university in Turkey where there are TV and radio studios with a high definition broadcasting system. The media center develops and applies an integrated communication strategy which also incorporates developing relations with the media. Also, we have radio, television, and media systems program. So also, they are very lucky to have this media center in our university. We have a sports center, and sports center offers a variety of activities and facilities. Uh, we have programs sponsored by the sports center, include club sports, fitness training, and also uh, we have uh, tournaments in our university and the Ashar University has a range of athletic teams representing the university uh, in competitions uh, through all Turkey. You can see the photos now, our basketball club, soccer club. 
We have many uh, campus activities in our university and international conferences, seminars, and exhibitions, uh, monthly concerts, including the university's own chamber orchestra, and that's very important. And the students' annual spring festival every year, uh, they're happening, and uh, students also can attend to several campus activities in Yashar University. Uh, transportation, as I told you in the beginning of the presentation, we are just in the city center and you can see the Yashar University here. It's just in front of the Bölge metro station. Al Sanjak is also another, is a, is a very popular place in Izmir. And this is the metro way. You can see also some of the photos of Izmir. And our motto is always science, unity, and success. Uh, we are, for, globalization is very important for us. Experimental learning is very important for Yashar University. And the cooperation uh, with environment is very important for Yashar University. Uh, we are always um, trying to um, have innovation and, and also, we are trying to teach innovation and entrepreneurship uh, management systems in our business and administration program, uh, because uh, this is very important for our university. Uh, you can see that this photo uh, is one of our uh, mottos uh, in uh, Yashar University. Thank you so much. My presentation uh, was like this. Uh, so thank you. Uh, you listened to me carefully. And uh, thank you also for attending my presentation. Uh, also, uh, I want to add uh, some uh, things for Pakistani students. Uh, for example, how to apply. That's very important. Uh, everything is online. The whole application process is online. You just need to uh, open the web page. It's apply.yashar.edu.tr. Okay. It's really, really important. Uh, and then you just need to click and select the program that you want to study. And then you need to uh, upload the required documents. What are they? Your diploma, your transcript, your motivation letter, your reference letter, uh, one of English proficiency certificate. If you have TOEFL, uh, you can also upload that as well. Unfortunately, we don't accept IELTS in uh, none of the universities in Turkey can accept IELTS. It's a Turkish Higher Education Council's rule. So you can upload your um, TOEFL, Cambridge or Pearson exam results. But if you don't have them, don't worry. You can take the flat exam after you make your registration. Flat exam is Yasha University's own exam. And after you uh, make your registration, you can take the flat exam. And if you pass, you can start the program. And if you fail, you can have one year of English preparation course. Uh, for Pakistani students, we uh, accept them with A levels. Uh, we have, you need to have two scores uh, minimum uh, pass. And or HSCC levels. Uh, we, you can also upload with your HSCC, and it needs to have a sixty percent above sixty percent success. A minimum, it must be sixty percent. Uh, you can ap apply with your SAT exam result. Uh, you need to have minimum minimum one thousand, uh, and you also need to upload your diploma, transcript, motivation letter, reference letter, passport copy, and English proficiency certificate. If you don't have English proficiency certificate, you can apply. When you come, you can take the flat exam. But this is just for bachelor and master degree programs. For PhDs, you need to have. You must have. TOEFL because PhD programs uh, are free. Uh, you know, uh, it's, you are not paying anything uh, because uh, that's why our requirements are a uh, little uh, high because you don't, you are not paying uh, for it. 
uh, also uh, we have scholarships they are based on the academic success uh, so also let me tell you uh, our prices um, uh, for bachelor degrees it's seven thousand dollars for master degree it's seven thousand dollars for preparation english preparation year it's seven thousand dollars and vocational schools they are five thousand dollars and phds they are free uh, let me tell you about the um, scholarships for Pakistani students. Um, if you have A-levels and if you have a minimum 1C and 1B from your A-level, if you have 1C and 1B from uh, A-level, you can apply for scholarship. If your HSCC is uh, above uh, 85, uh, you can apply for scholarship. If your SAT exam result is above uh, 1,350, uh, that means you can apply for scholarship. Uh, you, can, uh, uh, you can have a 25, 50, and 100% scholarships, uh, but uh, we are just writing your name and sending you to scholarship committee and our rectorate the scholar our uh, rectorate and the scholarship committee is deciding whether you are eligible to have this scholarship or not okay uh, so it's very important uh, you can apply with your a level hscc and sat uh, exam results okay. um uh, do you have any questions for now yes there are so okay. many questions on facebook I'm so happy to let's... answer them. I will be really happy to answer them. Don't worry. Would you mind yes. if you could uh, uh, close your share screen? <clears throat> of course. So let me just go. And to be very honest with you, uh, to whoever is watching me, as I have been disappeared, uh, for a moment, it was a sandstorm over here and my electricity went out. So please... Uh, do uh, give me an apology for this inconvenience. No. I am trying my level best to, you know, accommodate this complete. Okay about it. These things can happen also in the morning. It rained here so as well. If we could go on WhatsApp, uh, Facebook, Ali says hi, Ali Khan says. Can you hear me, Hamza? Uh, Hamza, can you hear me, Hamza? Hamza, can you hear uh, me? Hello. Yeah, uh, can you hear me now? Hello. Can you can you see me? Yes, I can see you now. I can see you now. Can you hear me? The, the network is dropping. I am really sorry for the inconvenience. The internet is not working. I no, am no, trying no. my level best to pull over everything. No, don't um, worry. These, these, these things can happen. Don't worry. Yeah, I can hear you now. Can you? Yeah, I can hear you. I can see you. Perfect. I'm here. Okay. Wait for your uh, so I'm really, questions. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just really, really sorry for this inconvenience because don't light... worry about it. Don't worry about it. Relax. Take your time. I'm here. Don't worry. Okay, Ali Khan says good evening because probably if uh, I cannot see them, they must see me. Ali Khan says uh, good evening. Uh, I'm just says good evening. Uh, everybody says hi, everyone, everyone, everyone. Hello. Maybe Rafiq says good evening. Good evening, everyone. I am just jumping on because I am afraid because of good this evening, everyone. Mariam uh, asks, uh, please tell us if IELTS is required in Turkey. No, Mariam, IELTS is not unfortunately required in Yashur University and in Turkey. They only take TOEFL and Pearson tests, right? And Seven? Cambridge. And Cambridge. And Cambridge as well. Okay. Engineer Kamran Salim is asking how I can apply in Turkey. Engineer Kamran Salim, I will get back to you after this session. I will let you know each and everything that how could you apply in Yashur University? 
I need to ask a couple of questions. Bilal Ramos says, yes, we can hear you. Thank you, Bilal. Basma Vidya says, to the team FES. Okay. Uh, one of a very good question from Ali Kazmi. Sevjan, how much bank statement is required while the time of applying in Turkey? Oh, how much what? I couldn't hear. How much? Ba bank statement. Bank statement for, for visa, you are asking? Yes. Um, actually, you need to talk with the Turkish embassy. I, I didn't hear anything about this actually before. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't think they are asking a bank statement. Uh, but maybe they can talk with the Turkish embassy in Pakistan and they can answer this because uh, I never heard anything like this before. I don't think they're asking. You just uh, applying with your acceptance letter uh, because when you apply uh, and when you make the first payment for the first installment, we are sending you your acceptance letter. And with your acceptance mm -hmm. letter, you are applying for visa. And also when you when you also if you need any help, also we are contacting with contacting with the Turkish embassy. So they are they are being sure that you are you will be a student in Yashar University. And so you can take your student visa. I don't think they are asking for a bank statement. Okay. Shiraz Yavid is asking any scholarships for international students. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, like uh, I told you before, you have 20, we are offering 25, 50 and 100 percent scholarship, but it is based on your academic success. So uh, let me tell one more time. Uh, if you're A-level, uh, you can apply with your A-level, your HSCC and with SAT. If you're A-level, if you have minim minimum one C and one B, you can apply for a scholarship with your HSCC. If your HSCC result is above 85, it's about 85, about 85, then that means you can apply for a scholarship. And if your SAT exam result is uh, about 1,350, uh, 1, then you can apply for a scholarship. Then you can have a chance to have 25, 50, and 100% scholarship. We are sending your names to scholarship committee and our rectorate is deciding whether you are eligible to have a scholarship or not. Okay, so uh, GL is asking, can students work during studies in Turkey? Yes, uh, uh, you have a chance to work while, while uh, studying. Uh, while studying, you will have a, a student residence permit. You will have student residence permit. And with your student residence permit, you have a right uh, to work uh, part time in Turkey. OK. So moving on to uh, the next, uh, does Yeshar University offer any MBBS program? A question from Bilal Pawar. Uh, can I have the question again? Is MBBS program? MBBS, what is that? The medicine that? program. The medicine, uh, medicine program. Medicine programs, unfortunately, we don't have medicine programs. You can all, you can, uh, if you uh, go to apply, apply.yashar.edu.tr and Hamza can give you the link. Uh, you can see the old programs there. Okay. So Bilal Power, I'll get back to you after once I'm done with this session. Also, okay. let me give, give them my email address. Yeah, sure. Uh, let me give you my email address so you can always email to me. It's S E V C A N, which is my name, Sevjan dot o z u l k e r which is my surname ozulker at yashar dot edu dot tr you can always email to me and ask your questions okay thank you for this you're welcome sir so mr shone about is asking hi all what about turkey work visa no unfortunately uh about we are working we're not working on Turkey work visa. It's a study based visa. So, all right, how so I get it? Uh, he says he left study before 17 years, just metric now. So, may I start again? Yes, you can, but I didn't understand the question. I no, one minute. I didn't understand. I'll, I, I'll tell you. I'll tell you the whole story. Actually, the, the question ah, was. Ah, 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 I understand. I understand. Uh, he quit 17 years ago, and can he start again? He needs yes. to apply again. He can. Yes. He, needs to, he needs to make the application uh, from scratch. Oh yes. 
Good job, FES consultant. Thank you, Nasreen. So, um, Shua Tariq is asking, VBA requirements, bachelor's uh, of business administration requirements. Okay, uh, for all programs, the requirements are same. So for all programs, uh, you need to upload your uh, required documents into apply.yashar.edu.tr. And let me remind them one more time. You need to upload your diploma, your transcript, okay. motivation letter. So Ali Khan is asking, does Yashar take English placement test at university if a yes. student without TOEFL? Yes. Yes. Please. Yes. Flat exam. We have. Uh, that's question for you, Sejan. Yes. Can you hear me, Hamza? Hello. Hello. Yeah, can Hamza, you hear me can, now? I can hear you now. Yes, I couldn't see you and I couldn't hear you. But uh, <laughs> I'm just I was fighting telling, back. No, 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 don't worry. I was uh, explaining the flat exam. We have English yeah. uh, preparation. Uh, we have English preparation year course here uh, and if you pass the flat exam you can start the program but if you cannot pass the flat exam you can have one year of english preparation uh, so when you have when you finish your registration you can take the flat exam if you don't have TOEFL but this is just for bachelor and master grades for PhDs you need to have TOEFL Uh, Sivjan, can you hear me? Yes. Did you hear the things that I told you? Yeah, it was. I just missed after the test. Okay. I was uh, telling the flat exam. Yes. You know, uh, when students come after registration, you can take the, they can take the flat exam. This is Yashar University English exam. So when they pass, you can start the program or if they fail, you can have the English, uh, they can have the English preparation course. So uh, if you don't have TOEFL, that's fine. But this is just for bachelor and master degree students. For uh, PhD programs, you need to have TOEFL because PhD programs are for free. So you are not paying anything. So that's why the requirements are a little high. Okay. Uh, so, Sevjen, I, um, I have a request from you. Uh, uh, guys, whoever are watching us and, you know, listening to us, to be very honest with you, I'm really, very sorry for this inconvenience. I will try my level best to, you know, just uh, uh, make up uh, not exactly this, what actually happened tonight. You know, the light went out. Uh, I'm running out of internet. So, if you do have any kind of questions, uh, uh, Sevjen, will you please just repeat your email address for them again? Of course. Uh, it's S... S E V C A N Save John. This is my name. Dot O Z U L K E R. This is my surname, Ozulker, without dots. At Yashar dot uh, Edu dot TR. Okay, thank you so much, Save John. And my email address is F. E S three three at the rate F E S P A K dot com. So please, if you do have any questions, you all have my numbers. Please follow me on Instagram, Twitter, every social media. I am there. My FES team is there because if you do have, I know due to this, uh, you know, uh, connectivity issue, so many of the questions or so many of the people might miss this session. So I will be live again. You have my number, you have my uh, contact details, your, my email address. And, you know, as you guys know, I am everywhere. So please do write me questions regarding Yashar University, regarding Ma'am Sevjan. Um, Apply. Okay, I've got. Also, I would like to tell you again that they can apply with their A level, uh, HSCC exam result and SAT. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much, everyone. Um, I'm really very sorry because I need to leave. I am again and still afraid that I might run out of my internet. Thank you so much for joining us, and I hope I will be back soon with another another university. And I will try my level best to uh, get Yashar University again live on board for you guys. I would like to follow us on everywhere on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. Um, I just forgot, you know, just in a rush. Once again, I'm very, very, very thankful to you know whoever. Specifically, Ma'am Sevjan, because she bears me with this uh, connectivity issues. So, don't worry um, about it. I don't. will be back with you guys. Good night from my side. Thank you so much for coming, and inshallah, I will see you soon. I miss you all.
Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Dave John. It was so nice and lovely of you. Thank you, everyone, whoever watched us, whoever um, uh, tried to talk to us. Uh, my team would be you know, giving you the answers um, in the comment box. Thank you so much, everyone, once again. Your host, Samjad Rahman, is signing out. Khuda Hafiz. Take care, be safe, and maintain your social distance. Thank you Bye. so much, Allah Hafiz. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you, Zeev Jan.